That seventh grader is suing his school after they tried to force him to remove his shirt that said simply, there are only two genders. They told me to take it off. I forgot to say this, but everyone who have been submitting super thanks in the comments, thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I, I know that you're fussing at me. I know some people who have sent in the super thanks and have not heard from me are probably cussing me out. And I just want to say to you, I did not see it. To be honest with you, things have been moving really, really fast on the channel for the last few months. All glory to God for that. And thank you so much to you all. He sent you all to this channel so that we can build this bridge so that we can connect other people to the truth. And that's it. So thank y'all for the super thanks. And thank you for watching all the videos and comment below. Now, a story just now came across my lap of a little boy, seventh grader. He's a seventh grader. And this little boy got kicked out of class because he had on a shirt, a t-shirt that said, there are only two genders. Welcome back. We've got a Fox and Friends exclusive now. Yeah, look at the little boy. The shirt is dope. There are only two. I like the shirt. I like this shirt, man. What's the problem with it? Okay, let me be quiet. That seventh grader is suing his school after they tried to force him to remove his shirt that said simply, there are only two genders. Thank you, youngin. He said that little boy is suing his school for kicking him out of class for wearing a t-shirt that he was proud of. He was proud of. Whoa, what happened to the freedom of, don't I have the freedom of speech, huh? Is there a curse word anywhere on this shirt? Is this derogatory in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, youngin. Sue their tails. School had a problem with that. 12-year-old Liam Morrison was told to change or get out of class. After po politely refusing to take off the shirt, he was sent home. Now Liam and his family are suing his town and school for censoring his views. While the school promotes the LGBTQ agenda, with pride flags and posters. Now I can wear a shirt to see it has, you gotta make it, it gotta be both ways. It gotta be both ways. I mean, clearly LGBTQ community, you support both ways, except if it's going against something that you believe in. If you can wear a t-shirt that has rainbows and, and gay love and gay pride and all that other stuff, and people salute you and they clap for it, then you should be able to wear a shirt that says there are two genders. Because don't the other one make a statement as well? And that other statement might very well offend a great number of people in your class based off of their religious beliefs or based off of their political beliefs. You don't know. I don't even know what made this young man decide to put this shirt on. But at the end of the day, he's not doing anything wrong. So he shouldn't be chastised for it. In my opinion, let's see more. And Liam joins us right now from his home. Screen left along with Tyson Langhofer who is representing him. Good morning, fellas. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Okay, Liam, let's start with you. Take us back to that day in March when you wore that shirt into school. And let's start with, why did you want to wear a shirt that said there are only two genders? That was a great, that's a great question. I wanted to wear that shirt because it was a very popular topic and I wanted to voice my opinion about it. And so by wearing the shirt you were, what happened when you showed up in school with that? When I first arrived, I was met by a lot of people commemorating me and being happy and agreeing with me for wearing the shirt. Okay, and at some point, a teacher must have uh, had an objection or because the principal eventually came up to you and what did they tell you? Well, they told me that a lot of people were being upset by my shirt and that they wanted me to take it off. I understand that. So did you discuss with them? Uh, look, it says there are only two genders. There are only two genders. There are a number of gender identities now, but there are only two genders. Yeah, I did have a bit of a discussion with them about it after they told me to take it off. Right. But you were going to stand up for um, your right to make, you know, your First Amendment rights. So you didn't take it off. They sent you home. And then a couple of weeks later, you wore another shirt to school. Tell us about that one. Yeah, so it was that same there are two gender shirt, except the only two part was covered in a white piece of duct tape that said censored on it, 
which was more or less a symbolism for how they were censoring me. Wow. And at the age of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 12, is it 12? He understands this better than a lot of adults understand it. Get out of here. That has to make you feel foolish if you believe, if you, if you don't understand what he's saying. And you're like, what is he talking about? Liam is foolish. Man, Liam is the goat. Right. And is that how you feel? Like your school was censoring your First Amendment rights? Yeah, they completely blocked my ability mm -hmm. or took away my ability to have a different opinion than they wanted me to have. All right. Now, Tyson, you are representing uh, Liam and his family in this case. This is not about two T-shirts, is it? No, absolutely not. I mean, this is about a, a school censoring a seventh grader who just has a different viewpoint. You know, and students don't forfeit their free speech rights when they go into, uh, when they step into the school. The school's talking about this issue all the time, and all Liam wanted to do was to express his opinion, which is actually shared by a lot of his classmates. I wonder if there was two classmates in that class, and one of them had on a shirt that says, I love Jesus, and one of them had on a shirt that says, gay which one of them would have made them uh, remove their shirt? The I love Jesus little boy or the gay s little boy? Think about that. The, the shirt itself is true. There are just two genders. Uh, there are different gender identities, as I said a moment ago. But does the school have something against that? Well, it's hard to tell because their student handbook actually says that public ed education must be available to members of both sexes. And it says that sexual harassment can't be against either gender. So, you know, the school's own communications actually support Liam's viewpoint. But what they've told him is that they, he can't express that on his shirt. And right. we think that's wrong. No student should ever be punished for simply peacefully right. sharing their view on a really important topic. Liam, I, I bet you've been tempted to wear another shirt with another message. Are you gonna? That's a good question. <laughs> well, if we end up being able to win that this case that we are in, I'm definitely going to be wearing it again. The same shirt? Yes, of course. Okay. I think I'd also have a new shirt uh, made that said, we won, uh, if that's what yeah. happens. Yeah, that's, uh, the lawyer just now proved that Yo, y'all said it right there. Y'all said either gender, that's two. Um, both sexes, that's two. Both, either. So we won. What are we trying to figure out here? <laughs> Give me my reparations. Give me my reparation money. <laughs> I'm saying that because we just now did a video about reparations. Liam, thank you very much. I know you're going to school today. Are, are anybody giving you trouble at school because of this? I'd say no, no one's really given me any trouble. A lot of people are happy with what I'm doing, in fact. All right. Well, we did reach out to the Middleborough Public Schools for a statement. They did not respond. Middleborough Town Manager James McGrell said he could not comment on the pending litigation. Of course he can't comment on pending litigation because they about to lose some money to little Liam, who is the GOAT. Liam for vice president. Li Liam for student president. Just like I voted for um, Napoleon Dynamite, I'm voting for Liam. That's what I'm voting for. I think that what they're doing to these youngins is, is ridiculous, but I would like to hear their argument. I mean, what if his shirt started a big old argument in class and he was the reason for the disruption? You know, if, if that's the case, you know, it's, it's certain things like that. At least uh, I'm just trying to think outside the box, so to speak, but I need for this to make sense. I can't just say, man, they attacked that young man and they're wrong. And it, well, I am saying that, but I also want to hear the other side. I want to hear the reason why they felt they felt it necessary to ask him to remove the shirt or we will remo uh, we will remove you from the class.